Hello there. In this video, I'm going to walk you through MicroBuilder from ELB Learning. MicroBuilder is our newest application that is part of the Learning Creation Studio, our collection of award-winning applications that helps you create engaging and immersive experiences. Let's dive in and take a closer look. MicroBuilder is a rapid authoring tool that allows you to create micro-learning modules in a matter of minutes, no matter your skill level, and deploy them efficiently to your audience. Let's take a look at a module that was created here in MicroBuilder. This is a preview of what the learner would see. As you can see, this finished microlearning module includes text, as well as videos, images, and questions. As you scroll down, you will also see a game from the Trainer Arcade and a Scenario VR scenario embedded in the module. Down at the bottom are the quiz results from the questions that we saw throughout this module. Now let's take a look at one other thing. Up here at the top, we have a globe icon. This will surface all the different languages in which our content is available. If your learner needs your content in Spanish or another language, they select it here to translate the module. With this module in Spanish, let's go ahead and take a look at our video real quick. Bienvenido al barrio de Internet. Al igual que en tu propia comunidad, es importante there you see that not only do we translate our closed captions into Spanish, but there's a voiceover track that overlays the original voiceover, giving a similar experience to both English and non-English speakers within the same module. Next, let's look at how you would build one of these micro-learning modules. To create a new module in MicroBuilder, select Create New Module in the top right-hand corner of the dashboard. This will open the default module template. The default module template includes a page title and description, which will always be part of the module. The placeholder blocks below can be used to start building your module. You can remove or reorder them if you would like. To start adding content in text blocks, select them and start typing. You can also copy and paste from another document. Note that initial text formatting will copy over, but you can update the styling of your text if needed. Now that you have text in your module, you can make it more interesting by adding additional blocks of content. To add an image to a module, select Add New Block. Select Image from the Add Block Options palette. You will notice that you have three options. You can upload from a file, you can capture something via your camera, or you can insert something from the ELB Learning Asset Library. Access to stock images comes included with your subscription. This gives you access to over 280 million images that you can search and insert directly into your module. You can even add multiple images at once from this panel. And there you have an image in your micro learning module. To insert a video within a module, select Add New Block. Select Video from the Add Block Options palette. You will notice that you have three options. You can either upload something from a file, capture something via your camera, or include a YouTube link. In this case, I'll include a video from my files. Now the video is included within the microlearning module. To insert a game or arcade within a microlearning module, select Add New Block. Select Game or Arcades from the Add Block Options palette. You will now see a list of games that are available, either as demo games or games that you have built in the training arcade. Either search or scroll through the list to select the game you'd like to insert. Now the game is fully playable within your microlearning module. To add a VR block to your microlearning module, select Add Block and then select VR from the Add Block Options palette. Now you can either drag and drop your file onto the browser or hit Browse Files and pull in your HTML5 published from Scenario VR. The VR scenario is fully functional within the microlearning module. The 
There are three different question types in MicroBuilder, and we'll take a look at building each one. Select Add New Block. Select Question from the Add Block Options palette. To create a multiple choice question, enter the question text in the question field. Now enter the different answers that are available for this question. You can add or remove answers if needed. Select the correct answer by simply selecting the dot in front of it. Creating a multiple select question is very similar, except you will toggle the question type to multiple select and select each answer that is correct from the answers provided. The short answer question is set up in a similar way. Toggle the question type to short answer, and rather than selecting from a list of options, you will type each acceptable answer in the box provided, hitting enter after each answer to add multiple answers if needed. Now let's turn these questions into a quiz. Toggle include and quiz on each question block. You'll notice that a new option appears for quiz properties. Here you can determine your passing percentage and maximum attempts. You can also update feedback for both failed and passed attempts directly in the quiz results block. And that's how you easily add quiz questions to your micro learning module. To translate the micro learning module, select translate this page on the right hand side. Select from the list of languages that are available. You can select as many languages as you need. Note that not all languages support all translation features. Select Translate Now to translate the module. The globe icon will appear in the top corner of the module. You can now toggle between the different languages. Publish the module and close out the tab. When you enter the file the next time, your closed captions and voiceover will now be available on all videos. And that is how you create multilingual modules in MicroBuilder. To publish your module, select Publish in the top right. After you have published your module at least once, you'll have the ability to download the module. This download option can be found in two locations, at the top of the module itself, or out on the module card on your dashboard. Select from the download options available. All these download options are hosted formats, which means that although you're downloading a package that will reside on your LMS, the content itself will continue to reside here on MicroBuilder. This means that as you make updates to the module and hit publish, it will automatically update any changes made to the package. This makes content deployment much faster and more efficient. And that is how you get content from MicroBuilder onto your delivery platform. We hope you enjoy this walkthrough of MicroBuilder by ELB Learning. Give it a try for yourself and see how it can streamline and improve your content creation and delivery.